Hey everybody, Val Corky here. Going to be continuing Kathy Rain. Alright. Let's see, we got Kathy here, Kathy one. So we've just opened the uh, the briefcase. We got the other uh, cassette tape. It was an answering machine cassette tape. Let's kind of review what was said there. You've reached the Rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking so maybe you'd like to come and Charles. visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. See, he says you're little Kathy. I don't think that would mean sick. this. We're never coming back. Don't call. Don't write. If you ever share, try obviously. to contact us, I will call the police. Kathy should have remarked that that's her mom, though. Joseph, you there? <clears throat> it's me, Cocky. I, it happened to me, too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. So obviously Cocky's one of his uh, old war buddies. Or, uh, mil uh, Air Force buddies, I guess you could say. Charles could just be a friend from somewhere else. Got the math book, the picture of him and his friends. So let's talk to Grandma. Got some new stuff, so. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Let's show her this key. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, before we get into the drowned girl, let's show her some stuff. Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness, I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was okay, Joseph's so best friend. Charles Wade. Charles Wade. Joseph's best friend. Uh, I don't think this will help. Rams, can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. I don't think I've already shown. I already her. talked to her about that. Yeah. But however, I already talked to her about. Hey, let me. Hold on. Let's let's go ahead and do this. Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. So I believe they're we're still training some young pilots there today. So, when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war. Together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried, I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy. But he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized mm. that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he huh. passed. No mention of the girl. Let's talk about Charles Wade first. I want to get this... Uh tape out and see if she has any information on the the uh, answering machine tape. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, 
I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Hmm. Seems a little evasive there. Hey, I'm gonna back out. Bye, Grandma. I wanna start I'll be back with later. The, uh, so long. I wanna start with the cassette if I can. So let's do this. Let's talk to Grandma again. Mind if... Yeah. Not at all. A person who called himself Cocky left a message on this tape. Does that nickname mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number mm -hmm. of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. Well, to this day, I have no time. idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not it's in not jail. That's not something you want to tell your grandma. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Okay, so that helped not at all. I don't think we need to discuss. Let's see I don't see anything. a reason to ask her about that. All right. All right, let's start up with this uh, newspaper clipping. I think Drowned Teen Girl in the newspaper clipping. Do you clip know anything the same about thing. the story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. Hmm. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Okay. I guess Do you I remember was wrong their names? Whole time. Mm. Let me think. I'm awfully sorry, dear. I just can't recall. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's that. I think we basically talked to her about everything. Alright. See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Let's go ahead and... I prefer to smoke outdoors. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it would work. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. Sideboard. I doubt that this will work, but I want to try it. Think about it. No, combine. That doesn't need unlocking. Okay. Uh, nothing else seems locked. That doesn't need unlocking. Just wanted to try things out. Hmm. Nothing else needs unlocking. Alright, back to... Back to the... Sheriffs for a second. I want to see if there's anything I can do. I know McConnell Air Force Base should pop up. Okay. So it won't pop up. Alright. Then we're going to the Sheriff's Station. I thought McConnell Air Force Base would pop up. Let's talk to old Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hey, Lenny, do you remember anything about a girl drowning around here? Well, that was before yeah. his time. I remember my mom telling me about that. 
I was like six at the time, though. Oh, okay. Do you remember her name? Oh, man. Not really. I was so little. I think it was something with an L. Linda? Laura? Something like that. All right. I'll keep looking. Hmm. Surprised that, uh... He knew about that. that I probably can't show him this. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize these men? Oh, okay. Not really. Sorry. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Okay, nothing about that. What about cocky? Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. All right. What about Charles Wee? Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Hmm. That's pretty much it. Well, gotta go. See ya. Let's go talk to the sheriff. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. I don't need to ask him that. Okay. I don't need to ask him. I don't need to. All right. Do you know anything about the drowning here in 1975? 16-year-old girl? You have a memory problem? I told you I haven't been working here that long. Besides, even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Juvenile cases are a sensitive matter. Everything's sensitive with you. He's new in town. I don't think he... Okay. So nothing That's from this now. guy. Good. He's uh, worthless to me. Let's take off. Hey, uh, Kathy, wait. What's this? What? Do you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely Do I eat not. Foot? I feed on heck? human misery. I, uh... Relax, Lenny. Yes. I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And and then maybe... This guy is not together? smooth at all. No. God, no. Absolutely not. I'd rather... Actually, I'd rather eat a foot. I'll let him down gently. I'm really busy right now. Maybe later. Oh, okay. See ya. He's held a flame for Kathy for years already. So all that was nothing. Um, back at the cemetery with very little information. Very little different from before. Wait a second. Benjamin, Eleanor Foy, she is 40, let's look at the ages of some of these people, Roy Rundell, David Spielman, uh, it's gotta be a girl, All right, Lily this Myers. is the right date. looks ah, like her name go. was Lily Myers, I should try to get a hold of her family. All right, so we found it. And who is this? I wonder what that kid is doing here all alone. In the rain. A family mausoleum. Oh, okay, they're missing that already. Stephen Cummings. Eric Mitchell. Little boy. Elizabeth Parker. I'm gonna find out what happened. Okay, we already saw that. Conwell Springs. Nope, can't go there. A little boy. Maybe five or six years old. Five or six year old boy. Hey kid. Hi yourself. Oh shoot, what are you doing? he looks weird. None of your business. Huh. I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. <sighs> A 
jerky little kid. I should go look for his mother. Can I go down that way? I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. What the heck? Where am I supposed to go? Into the Price Mausoleum. No reason to go in there. No? It says... Kid's gone. Kid? Guess he found his mom. He was a ghost all along. Actually, her grandfather. Oops. A lot of weird stuff going on here. Alright, so I just needed that one little bit of information. Now, can I finally go back to the university? grandma's house. I'm gonna call up Eileen and actually try and find uh, the Myers family. Although there might be more than more than I want. She's been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. Okay. Damn. No Charles Wade in here. Huh. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. Okay. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Let's see if we can call McConnell Air all Force Alright, got it. Nice, okay. We got a number. Yeah, I doubt uh, I can get cocky out of it. Nope, couldn't find Okay. Let's call... Let's call Eileen, see if she can help us. Eileen, a resourceful uh, young woman. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Kat. Oh, hi, what's up? I don't need to ask her about that. Okay, how about Charles Wade? I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh. Must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah. I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If you used to <sighs> serve with your granddad, I mean. Eileen. Yeah. Could be worth a shot. You're not giving me anything I don't already know. Let's see if she knows I don't about need that. to ask her. Okay. I'm trying to find this guy, but all I have is his nickname. Cocky. Well, what do you know about the guy? Not much. I think he was in the Air Force and served with Grandpa. She's gonna tell me to go Maybe talk to somebody, in the, somebody in the Air Force. Who knew him then? Yeah, that might be worth a shot. <sighs> okay, gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Well, you weren't very much help at all. But still, at least you are willing to uh, try and help, I guess, a little bit. Colonel Air Force Base. How can I help you? Hi. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? I thought he would be like, no, I don't have this time. This is one of the oldest Air Force bases in the U.S., established during World War I. The main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. In the late 80s, the school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett Savior Myers trained at this very base. <gasps> Charles Myers. Wade, the great industrialist, did too. Some claim that many of his revolutionary ideas came from the former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. Thanks for the history lesson. That gave me a little information. So it was Ethan Myers, right? 
Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Afraid not, ma'am. I know all the call signs here, and I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Jeez. Any suggestions? Charles Wade would be the only be person <laughs> I can think of who is still alive would be Charles Wade. Wow. All right, thanks. My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help yeah, you with? Charles Wade. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No Sorry, can do. No exceptions, can't really yeah. help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Pretend to be a cop. I'm not going to pretend to be a cop. But what if it was a matter of life and death? Ma'am, if you're in a life-threatening situation, I suggest you call 911. Yeah. Let's see if I can get anything out of this. I don't see a reason to ask him oh. about that. So Ethan Myers was the name. Uh, I doubt. Do you know anything about what happened oh. to Joseph Rain in '81? Interesting. I think it was. I work. know that he was no longer stationed here at the base at that time. He'd left the Air Force decades earlier. But as a Conwell Spring citizen, sure, I've heard the rumors just like everybody else. How he was found by the sheriff, all messed up, walking out of the woods with some kind of unexplained brain damage. Any theory as to what he was doing out there? I'm afraid not, ma'am. Yeah, how but would I'm he positive know? that it had nothing to do with this base or our operations here. Okay, what can you tell me about his service at McConnell? Well, Joseph Rain is a legend around here. His pile of metals weighs more than my car. Interesting. I was fortunate enough to meet him before he suffered his injury, and I must say, what an inspiring man. I'm positive that he would have made general if he'd stuck around. Any idea of why he quit? He looks so happy in the pictures from the war. Oh, your family, ma'am? Granddaughter. Well, then I'm sorry for your loss. I heard about his recent passing. Appreciate it, buddy. So, about him quitting. <laughs> I shouldn't speak ill like of the that. dead, but some say the war broke him. PTSD. That's Me? what some say. I don't think so. When I met him, he had this aura about him, like he wasn't afraid of anything. Maybe it was just guilt. He ended a lot of lives, but that's just me speculating. Yeah, I don't think so. Gotcha. Thanks for the thoughts. He got into something deep. Alright, that's all. <sighs> and it, Goodbye, it ended him. Alright. She's been dead for two decades. I know. Ethan Myers. Ethan... Something Myers. We got some good information there. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there. Um Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh I don't know the connection of Lily Myers with the grandfather. Charles Wade and Granddad, they had a falling out of some kind. This cocky guy, he seems to have known something. And like I said, he only trusted uh, Joseph at the end there. So we'll see what happens next time. Alright, well, hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.